Sailor Song by Ken Kesey is set in the near future in Queenock, a small fishing village in Alaska. The story centers around Ike Salas, a former eco-warrior known as the Bacacha Bandit, who, after becoming disillusioned with activism, now leads an unassuming life in the village. Ike is marked by his past experiences, specifically his involvement in protests where he gained notoriety for his actions against pollution and corporate greed. The tale unfolds when a Hollywood film crew arrives in Queenack to shoot a blockbuster movie based on an epic Russian novel. The production is led by a powerful and charismatic producer named Nick Levertov, who brings with him the glitz and complications of the entertainment world, creating a significant impact on the quiet village. Levertov's presence leads to a surge in economic activity, but also instigates cultural and personal conflicts within the community. As the village becomes swept up by the excitement and chaos of movie making, personal dramas and relationships begin to surface. Ike finds himself drawn back into the battle against corruption and environmental destruction. He becomes romantically involved with Greer, an actress from the film, who helps him confront his past. Key characters in the story include Alice Carmody, a tough-minded business owner who is both impressed and concerned by the sudden transformation of Queenock. Mike Carmody, Alice's estranged husband, is the town's former mayor with an enigmatic past who is grappling with his own demons and the impact of the film crew's presence. Emil Greer is an old friend of Ike, who is revealed to have a sinister connection with Ike's past activist deeds. There is also a shamanic character named Father Pribilov, whose presence underscores the mystical and unpredictable elements of the Alaskan wilderness. As tensions rise between the villagers, the film crew, and personal relationships, Ike's past as an activist reignites. He sees the film production as a microcosm of the broader environmental exploitation he once militantly opposed and is forced to choose between maintaining his disenchanted detachment or once again taking a stand against the powerful forces threatening to disrupt the ecological balance. As the plot advances, Ike has to face the dark aspects of his history, including the mysterious death of his child, which had deeply affected his perspective on activism and life. His relationship with Greer intensifies and becomes a catalyst for change. Through Ike's journey, Kesey explores themes of redemption, the struggle for identity, and the complex interactions between human nature and the natural world. The narrative builds toward a climax where confrontation between the environmentalist values Ike stands for and the capitalist motives of the film crew become inevitable. It is at this point the ecological threads which Kesey masterfully wove throughout the novel come into full force, painting a vivid picture of the clash between the natural world and human ambition. During a cataclysmic storm, the challenges and conflicts the characters face come to a head. The harsh environmental elements serve as a reminder of the power of nature, bringing about a pivotal moment of crisis and realization. Ike's inner conflict and his relationship with Greer are severely tested as the storm threatens to destroy the village and the film set. In the aftermath of the storm, the relationships between the characters either strengthen or fall apart based on their responses to the challenges faced. Ike finally reconciles his internal struggles and emerges as a leader who understands the necessity of balancing human desires with environmental stewardship. He makes choices that reflect his renewed commitment to environmental and personal integrity, ensuring the well-being of the Queenack community and embracing his role within it. Ultimately, Sailor Song is a satirical yet profound commentary on the battle between preservation and exploitation set against the rugged and unforgiving backdrop of Alaska. We are left with a sense of hope as the characters find their place within the natural order and the community of Queenock is bound tighter by the experiences they've shared. Kesey's novel is a rich tapestry that combines adventure, romance, and a deep ecological consciousness, serving as a call for the understanding of our place within the environment and the consequences of how we choose to live within it.